Hey everybody, it's Mr. 95 Cents. We're here for Mr. 95 Cent Sport Card Adventures and we're going to be opening up some nice Rookies and Stars football today and some Topps Bunny Packs because it's Easter, the day before Easter. Oh yeah, we're going to have some Topps Bunny Packs. Maybe we'll get that gold bunny today. You never know. Oh, how we doing everybody? Oh, it's a beautiful day out here. I think we're going to have a couple good days Tomorrow, Easter, the weather report is good. That's good because I'm going out. And after that, it's supposed to rain for all week. But that's okay. As long as Easter's nice. So how are we doing, everybody? I'd like to shout out all my featured channels. Everybody have a happy Easter. Yep. It's here. It's here pretty much, right? So uh, we got prizes. <laughs> all right i almost forgot what i was supposed to say we got prizes all right so if you comment on the last video and you're a subscriber you get a chance for one of these prizes now first out of the box is going to be our sp authentic sign of the times vin baker autograph second out of the box is going to be the skybox showdown series clyde the glide drexler against michael jordan third out of the box we got the this is a Chronicle, Chronicle Playoff Draft Pick, Cade Cunningham, rookie. And fourth out of the box, we got a Panini Contender rookie ticket, Greg Brown the third relic card. All right, so let's get our box here. We got all kinds of tickets in there. We're going to hand mix them first. All right, we're going to shake it up. All right, okay, here we go. All right, good luck to everybody. We're going for the Vin Baker first. All right, I got one ticket. The Vin Baker is going to, oh, Jason VT Sports Guy. Jason gets the Vin Baker. There he goes. Jason gets the Vin Baker. All right, we're going for the Jordan and Clyde Drexler next. And we go. Oh, KBM Luke, he likes that basketball. KBM Luke. He's got the bat. He's got the Jordan and Drexler. All right, now we're going with the Cade Cunningham. Right, let's see. Just gotta get one. Here we go. Here he comes. Oh, Zach Sports Cards and Collectibles. Hey, he gets the Cade Cunningham. There he goes. And we got the Greg Brown relic card. Barry, 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 Barry with the Greg Brown. There we are. All right, those are our four winners for this video. We'll show you some prizes at the end that you got a chance to win on Tuesday's video. Well, and all you got to do is comment on this video and be a subscriber. All right, we're going right to Warehouse Finds. Here we go. All right. So today on the street, even though it's the Saturday before Easter, a lot of landscapers are out doing spring cleaning. JJ didn't come here yet. I told him come next week. I don't I don't want to disturb my neighbors, but I don't know if you guys can hear it because this, this room was pretty soundproof, but all around me there's blowers going. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy. Hopefully not tomorrow on Easter. All right, here we go. So we got some non-sports to show you first. Continuing out of that big box of stuff I found with the Webkins. Uh, I found a few E.T. cards. They're actually E.T. stickers. And these are from uh, 1982. There's E.T. all wrapped up in a blanket. Okay. We got... I don't know. what the, What's this from? He's like holding his nose or something. And we got the, the kid with E.T. From 1982. So those cards are... 40-some years old now. Wow. And we found some Garbage Pail Kids from 1987. So these aren't too bad, but be forewarned. Some of them might not be politically correct. Uh, we got a Hung Up Hank. We got a Soapy Opie. So these all have, like, cartoons on the back, too. They're nice. And they're pretty much stickers. They're sticker cards. 
We got a blockhead Blake. He's like a Rubik's Cube. Got a juicy Bruce. So there was variations or like other, I don't know, I guess they're variations of the cards. And I think some of them are hard to get. So here we have a laser ray. And the same guy with a different name, Sizzling Sid. Let's check that out here. Yeah, okay. We got, next is a, this is another like variation type of thing. Sticky Nicky. And then same basic thing, Grant Ant. All right, we got a screwy Dewey. This is a have a nice Dave. That's a weird card. And last but not least, Sappy Sarah. <laughs> I got I found a lot of those. I think I think half the box was those. There had to be I don't I'm not sure if they're different years. They probably are, but there was four or five hundred garbage peel kids in that box. We got a little bit of hockey. Ooh, I'm dropping stuff. We got a little bit of hockey here. Let's see. What do we got? We got a MVP Prospects Colin White card. I found some of my old devils. Victory Prospect Christian Berglund. This was just a regular card out of the set, as, as of a couple of these are. But uh, this is the Beehive. I like that Beehive set, Steve Yarserman. They had the Jumbos, too. We got a Topps Mario Lemieux. That's from 2001. We got a Prism Rookie card of Jordan Schroeder. I'm not sure if this is a gold signature because MVP did have those gold and silver signatures. I'm not sure. But it's a Gordon Eberly. That's from 2012 Upper Decks Series 1 hockey. So, I don't know. We got a uh, SP Authentic rookie numbered out of 699. Evgen Gradjav or something like that. I give it to my brother. He likes the Rangers, him and the nephews. <laughs> we got a young gun of Sam Bennett from 1516. And we got an SP rookie authentic Zach Jones card from the Rangers. I always pick up those Ranger cards. I give them to my brother and my nephews. They like them. We got basketball. Oh, geez, look at this here. Got a bunch of basketball here. Got some Vince Carter to start off, it looks like. Yeah, we got a little debris on the card, looks like. It's a Fleer Platinum Portrait, Vince Carter. That's from 0304. We got an Air Apparent, Vince Carter. That's a nice card. You got one of these 50th anniversary reprints from Topps, Vince Carter. Oh, this is a thick card. This is that uh, Panini. These were nice. The Panini Marquee. They're like foil cards. And this is just a regular Vince Carter out of the set, but it's nice. We got a Topps Total. Total Performance Vince Carter. And we got an NBA. I'm trying to see what the... 24-7. All right. Vince Carter. That's a that's a uh, very shiny card. <laughs> we got a basketball Hall of Fame from NBA Hoops Hall of Fame heroes, David Robinson. Now oh, we got a, an old looks like a skybox card. Yeah, it's USA skybox from 1992. David Robinson when he was on the Olympics. Oh, wow. Now we got a bunch of Space Jam cards. 
and I'm talking the original Space Jam, not that cheap uh, reproduction that they made with LeBron. There we go. We'll show you a bunch. There's, there's Michael right there. Got a whole bunch of cords here. I found a lot of them. Oh, there he is. <laughs> this is the Monstars. Got more of those. Oh, it's the same cord. <laughs> oh, I got triplicates of that. Oh, look at this here. There's like five of the same cord. <laughs> oh, but then we got... Oh, we got Granny. Oh, Granny. Well, Granny made the scene. There you go. Yeah, I had five of those monster cords. All right. And we got some football. So we got some 1986 Chargers and Packers, it looks like. We got a Lionel James. And the old Chargers. Gary Anderson. Jim Lachey. Bob Thomas. And we got a record breaker, Lionel James. We got some Packers. We got a Paul Kaufman. There's a Kaufman Conquers Defense in action card. We got an Alfonso Carriker. Jerry Ellis. And the quarterback back then, Lynn Dickey. Yeah, from 1986, so these guys now are what? No, well, this guy, uh, Lynn Dickey, would, jeez. He's older than me now. Watch out. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these guys are in their 70s now, so. Yeah, it's crazy. It doesn't, didn't seem like that long ago, but it is. We got some modern guys here, a couple modern guys. We got a Jalen Model batch here. From my nephew, my nephew number two likes the Dolphins. I think the way that happened, because mostly all Jet fans in the family, unfortunately, uh, but uh, but we're loyal Jet fans. The uh, my sister fell in love back in the day with Dan Marino, and she made my nephew a Dolphin fan. So, what are you gonna do? We got a Jalen Model uh, Chronicles playbook rookie. We got a pro set rookie of Jalen Waddle. This is nice. This is the, uh, what are they calling this? This is the Phoenix, I want to say Starburst. Uh, it was a special insert set of Jalen Waddle. Yeah, that was, was a special uh, insert set. We got a absolute rookie card of Jalen Waddle. And this is nice. This is the uh, Chronicles Revolution draft pick. They're always nice cards. We got a couple Barry Sanders here. All right. This is nice. This is a wild card chrome stat smasher Barry Sanders. We got a Topps Quick Six Barry Sanders insert. And this is nice. This is, I think this is the first year of Finest. 94 Finest football. Just a regular card, but they're somewhere in that warehouse. I got boxes of this stuff. I haven't run into it yet. <laughs> we got a, uh, it's a Prism draft pick. It's not that old. 2015 of Ben Rosseberger. I like these. The Prism, when they make the old timers, and they're like black and white cards. We got a Larry Zonka. And we got a Lance Allworth. They're from 2014. We got next a prestige old school Jim Plunkett card. Oh, these were nice. This is the legendary champions from Panini Contenders. Uh, this is back 2012. We got a Marcus Allen. That was a nice insert set. And we got a Dwight Freeney. 
All right, and we got a lot of baseball here. Wow. Let's see what we got first. This is from the Albany Polecats. A minor league best card of Vladimir Guerrero Sr. Look at this. This is a weird card. From 2008 Don Russ Threads, we got a George Bush card. Now, this one came out of, uh, I believe, a 1992 baseball card magazine. Frank Thomas. That's a nice card. So they put them on like uh, 55 Bowman style. That's a nice card. And it's very thin, though. It came out of a magazine. We got a 1990 uh, score. Frank Thomas, rookie. We got a bunch of Frank Thomas here. We got a Frank Thomas, uh, Alan Ginter, baseball star signs. He's a Gemini. This is an older one. This is the studio uh, Frank Thomas collection from 1993. That's one of them. There's a bunch. We got a uh, All-Star Fan Fest Future Heroes card from 92 Upper Deck of Frank Thomas. We got a Collector's Choice Premier Power Frank Thomas. Oh, That's a nice card. This is from the 2013 uh, Chicago National Collector's Card Convention. It's a VIP Frank Thomas. We got a field of dreams. This is just an oddball promo. Somebody, somebody made it. I don't think, believe it's. For, I don't believe it's from a major card company, but it's nice. This is another one like that. Bash two. Frank Thomas and Bo Jackson. All Burns all time best bashers now slam for the Sox. Boy, we still got a lot of Frank Thomas to go. A Pinnacle Team 2000, Frank Thomas. This is a Score Superstars card of Frank Thomas. Now, where'd this one come from? 1990 Best Cards. This is a minor league card when he played for the Barons, Frank Thomas. And boy, that's the end of Frank Thomas for now. <laughs> that's a lot of Frank Thomases. Oh, now we got one of my favorites coming up. Oh, and a bunch. Mariano Rivera. Here he is. Mariano. We got an Allen and Ginter baseball highlights. Yeah. We got a Diamond King portraits of Mariano. And Allen and Ginter, Ginter's greats. This is a world talent. Mariano from Allen and Ginter. We got a Mosaic 2000s. These were nice. These were special promos. The Spring Fever promo of Mariano. That's from 2014. Now, this is the uh, greatest moments from Tops, Mariano. Now, what's this one all about? Okay. So, you got Mariano on here. Do, do, do. Oh, maybe this is the kid? I don't know. This might be his kid, uh, him and his kid, I guess. Family resemblance? Yeah, so. I know his kid was pitching. I don't think he, I don't know if he made it, though. We got a golden moments from Topps Mariano. Got a bunch of Mariano here. These are nice. The Yankee Stadium Legacy cards, Mariano. You got a Don Russ Masters of the Game.
And we got a Across the Years Mariano. Now, I got one of these cards over here that I got to show you. So I ran into a bunch of these Hot Shot cards. I think I talked to you guys about them before. You're supposed to press your finger down. And something in the background comes up. And I'm seeing if it works on any of them. <laughs> Try it. There's only about five of them. Nope. Maybe I got cold hands. I don't know. No. Here's a Frank Thomas one. Nah, they're not working, but they're old. What are you going to do? We got a, uh, these are from 1993. So we got a Frank Thomas. We got a Jose Consenco. I guess that technology they had back then wasn't built to last over 30 years. We got a Ken Griffey Jr. A Will Clark. And a Roger Clemens. Yeah, you're, you're supposed to press your finger down and something in the background is supposed to come up, but that don't work anymore, I guess. Oh, look at this here. We found some 1982 Kmart 20th anniversary cards. We got a Maury Wills. They always have the great players on them. We got a Rod Carew. Because they were all MVPs. We got a Willie McCovey. A Johnny Bench. Well, we got two Johnny Benches because he's got a 1970 MVP. Oh, and I'm, I'm looking at the trucks outside. A 72 MVP. We got Carl Yastrzemski. Bob Gibson. Rich Allen. Wooly Mays, Reggie Jackson, and Sandy Koufax. And 1963 National League MVP for Sandy Koufax. I don't remember that. I was I was seven, and I was a Yankee guy. So back then, you watched the TV. There wasn't that many televised games, and it was mainly just local teams they didn't really and we didn't play the dodgers unless it was the world series so there was no interleague play back then all right let me have a little swig of coffee here hold on oh boy <coughs> oh. <coughs> let me have another one that hit the spot all right excuse me we're going right to card shop stories. So I was thinking about what to talk about. What happened in the store in Easter? Uh, well, a lot of, so we're going to talk about Easter time at the store. So uh, it was a busy time. Uh, a lot of the mothers came in and were buying packs or the, or the wives were buying packs to put into Easter baskets and all that kind of stuff, you know. For the, for the Easter Bunny on Sunday. And uh, that was all fine and good. Uh, we had a little uptick in business because of that. But the main thing we did the last, oh, it was probably at least the last four or five years, was we had a major food drive right before Easter, you know, so we could deliver a lot of food to uh, the food pantry. We have a food pantry about, eh, four miles from here, the Morris County Food Pantry. And I do, I still do a lot with them. I mean, the store doesn't do anything with them because I don't have the store anymore. And the new guys don't do that. So, uh, but what we would do is, and it, and it was wonderful. We had a lot of, of our customers helping out. Uh, we had uh, Tanya and Gerard uh, and Gabby, uh, different customers and their wives helping out, donating prizes and stuff. So I would donate some of the big prizes. You know, I always had a big prize. I think our last thing we gave away might have been a Frank Thomas bat. Uh, we had a Frank Thomas autographed bat we gave away. And uh, how I got those prizes, because it really didn't cost me much. My distributor used to have a contest, like if you ordered so much product, 
you could pick from a list of autographed items to get for free. So I always use that. And they, they ran it a couple times a year. I, I use that thing uh, that I got for the prize for the, the, the food drive. So, and the food drive was always, uh, well, we had it for Thanksgiving, which would accumulate afterwards for a big party for all the donors. That was my, mainly like a, a Christmas party type of thing. And then we would have uh, National Hobby Day, which D GTS came up with. And we would have that right after the Easter drive. And we'd have a big party with that, you know. And uh, it was always a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, some of the customers helped out. Uh, we would always collect at least a thousand pounds plus of food each time to donate. <clears throat> and uh, I was very proud of that, proud of our customers. They all came out. Uh, the way it worked, uh, if you brought at least three uh, non-perishable items in uh, to donate, and it was only one entry per day, you were able to pick from a box of cards for prizes, and then your name went into a big box where we picked, oh, geez, probably at least 30 prizes plus that grand prize, which was the Frank Thomas bat, the last one. Uh, and people had fun. We had pizza, soda, cake, all kinds of stuff, you know. And it's a there's a big need for that. Uh, I I tell you what, I would go in uh, to bring the food in, and they have times when you bring the food in, and then they have different times when the people actually come to get the food. And one time I couldn't make it the a lot of time. I knew the guys down there and they said, that's all right, just come whenever you can. So I came uh, when the, the people were actually there getting the food and it was a cold day. It was probably 25, 30 degrees. And it, 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 very, it, it was very moving. Uh, there was a lot of people waiting in line to get into the building to get their food. And most of them were young mothers with kids, you know, and they had the kids with them, you know. So uh, there's a big need for that over here. And we're we're an affluential, supposedly an affluential county up here. Um, I'm in Morris County in New Jersey. It's supposed to be one of the most affluential, but we have a lot of people that need food. Uh, so I'm, I'm still involved, even though, um, you know, I sold the store and we don't have the food drive anymore. I'm now vice president of a local Rotary Club, and I've been with them since 1999, so I've been a member for about 25 years. And uh, so we are we always have food drives for them, uh, you know, through the club members. And uh, they have a new thing now that uh, I didn't know about. Uh, it's like a car line thing where there's tables of who's got drinks, who's got fruit, who's got vegetables, and different organizations volunteer to man the tables. Meanwhile, the cars come in and you give them their, I guess, their allotment of stuff from your table. So, and we need 15 volunteers for each table. That's what they want. And we, we have a, a pretty decent sized club. We got about 45 members. So uh, we're doing it in May and I'm, I volunteer to do that. Uh, so it's a shame, uh, a, a big country like this and all the money we send overseas and I don't want to get political, all the money we send overseas and we can't feed the people here is terrible. If it wasn't for these people like us and the private organizations, you know, it, 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 there'd be a lot of people starving on the street. So, and that's, that's terrible. But anyway, so that's my, I, I wanted to make it a happy story. And it is a happy story because you're helping people out. But uh, just think about that, you know, when you're having your Easter dinner and everything and that there's people out there that maybe you want to help out because they're not as fortunate. So, and that's my card shop story. <laughs> All right, we're going to, oh, well, we're going to open the bunnies after the box. So, so these, these bunnies, I, I stocked up on these and I think I got pandas and llamas. Uh, they really didn't sell in the store, and uh, 
when I go to family gatherings, like tomorrow, we're actually, for the first time in like 30-some years, going out to a brunch for Easter. So I always give uh, the guys some packs, you know, mainly my nephews are mostly there, uh, and the, the ladies or girls, we'll call them, I, I give them different kind of packs. Like I might give them garbage pill kids. Uh, I always give them like bunnies and stuff like that. I give everybody bunnies, so I'm the bunny guy. And I know I've never opened one of these myself, but I know there's a chance for gold ones. And that's what I want. So we'll see. But first, we're going to open our 2023 Rookies and Stars Football Blaster. Let me get my cutter. Uh, what do they give you in this? Oh, let's see. Oh, find one autograph or memorabilia. So we're going to get something. These go for about 25, 30 bucks. Uh, I think they're on, on, they might be on target for twenty four ninety nine. dollars uh, Blaster exclusive, five red and two plaid parallels per box on average. And find six rookies from the 2023 NFL draft classes. Not that many rookies in it. Okay. And there's 72 cards. All right. That's a lot of cards. All right. And uh, here it is. 12 cards per pack, six packs per box. All right, wish me a little luck. And we'll get that C.J. Stroud. You never know. Let's see. All right, put that over there. And we'll get the packs out of the box here. There we are. Okay, put that there. All right, here we go. Let's see. things anymore <laughs> those blowers and stuff all right here we go we got a josh jacobs to start off okay we got a derrick henry we got a christian watson And A.J. Brown. We got a Joe Mixon. We got a Cooper Cup. A Zach Ertz. Here's one of them red ones, I guess, right? Travis Etienne Jr. Red. Oh, we got something number to 40. Oh, this is nice. We got a number to 40 CD lamb, like foil card. That's nice. We got a standing ovation, Justin Fields. We got a man in motion, CD lamb. And we got a Tavius Robinson rookie. Wow. I just got a message. I got a, so... Let me just go on this one second here. Sorry about that. I got a guy that wants to come over and pick up some stuff for his kids for Easter. Ooh, okay. And I don't want him to wait for the answer. This is like a phone call in the middle of the video. Okay, we'll get that going while we'll open another pack. I didn't have the big, the big computer right in front of me. I didn't have it on. We'll answer them while we're doing this. I don't want them to wait. Oh, there's something fancy in this one. Let's see here. I'm a multitasker. See that? I can do video and answer questions at the same time. Almost. We got a Christian Kirk. We got a Kenny Pickett. We got a Mac Jones. A Stefan Diggs. We got a Jimmy Garoppolo. Mike Evans. We got an AJ Dillon. That is Saquon. No longer with the, the now here is this one of these cards? Red plaid. This is a red plaid. Ooh, this is nice. I don't know who the guy who the guy is. Is he any good? I got a red plaid crusade 
rookie of Hendon Hooker. I got to look him up. I'm not sure who he is. We got a touchdown club. Geno Smith. There he is. <laughs> we got a Michael Meyer draft class card. And we got a rookie card of Michael Wilson. Let me just go on here real quick. Oh, I got a lot of messages. I knew this was going to happen. I was here all day yesterday. I says, nobody. Well, I did have a couple guys come yesterday. I says, you know. Let me just. Okay. Here we go. All right, I sent him a message. This way he knows he can come over. <laughs> Not tomorrow, though. Tomorrow won't be around. I get. A, I got to get at least a day off. It's not really work. These guys are all friends of mine that I've known most of them for years, and they come down and we talk, and they get a couple of things. We got Joe Burrow. We got a Kai Ren Williams. We got a Kyler Murray. We got a Michael Pittman Jr. We got a Dak Prescott. Kirk Cousins. Oh, give me a break. I think we're getting points. I got a Josh Allen. Ah, oh, this stinks. I, I don't like the points. Yeah. Oh, he says, okay, great. Going through the car wash now, then we'll head over. All right, I'll give him the thumbs up. Going to come over with a nice, clean car. I, I got 250 points. So, what are you going to do? So, I guess I'm not going to be getting any autograph or nothing. <laughs> uh, we got a Najee Harris Red. I like the cards, though. They're nice. We got a rookie rush. Michael Meyer. Another Michael Meyer insert. And, uh-oh, we got him. There's only six rookies in the box. C.J. Stroud right there. Nice. Nice. All right. I'm getting lucky with C.J. Stroud. Put these over here. And we still got three packs to go. So... We're not. We're probably not going to get a hit. We, I mean, our, our hit was probably the points, but at least we got a C.J. Stroud. All right. So we're going to keep going because we got three packs to go. We got a Devontae Adams. So these they have the names are like sideways. You got to look. Tyler Lockett, and they're the, the writing's not that big. <laughs> we got an Aaron Jones. We got a. KV on Thibault. Got a Jamar Chase. And Aaron Donald. Got a James Connor. Got a Damian Ham Hamlin? Hamlin. All right, now we got another one on red, red uh, plaids again. It's a nice card, though. We got an airborne red plaid Dak Prescott. It's a nice looking card. We got some nice looking inserts. We got a red Felix Anduki Uzuma from the Chiefs. Red rookie. Got a standing ovation, Devontae Adams. And we got a Jaden Reed rookie card. That over here. I tell you the truth. I mean, I, I'd rather get the relic or the uh, autograph, but for twenty-five bucks is not a bad box. Even thirty, I would go more than that though. Thirty be my limit. <laughs> All right, we still got the two packs to go here. We got a Travis Kelsey. They give you a lot of cards too, which is nice. We got a Geno Smith. We got Jared Goff. We got a Daniel Jones, a Justin Fields, Keenan Allen, we got a Terry McLaurin, a Jonathan Taylor, 
We got a red Micah Parsons. We got a man in motion, Joe Mixon. We got a draft class. Well, this is nice, too. Draft class rookie of Bryce Young. That's nice. And we got a Ventrell Miller rookie. All right. So not bad. We got one pack to go. Let's see what we got here. All right. Last pack. We got George Pickens. We got Justin Jefferson. We got an Odell Beckham Jr. We got Patrick Mahomes. We got a DK Metcalf. We got a Mon St. Brown. We got a Michael Thomas. We got a DJ Moore. We got a red DJ Chark Jr. Not bad again. We got a rookie rush. Bryce Young rookie. Not bad. Can't complain. We got uh, something different here. A Thrillers insert. It's a Prism version too. Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson. And then we got a Dorian Thompson Robinson rookie. To round it off. All right. Not too bad. I, I did good. I got a couple of Bryce Youngs. I, I got uh, C.J. Stroud. I got some points. But, hey, can't win them all. Maybe, maybe there'll be something good on there. We'll see what happens. Now, for all you've been waiting for, the Bunny Rabbit Packs. Now, I haven't looked at these in a long time to give you one figure, figure and one sticker, sticker in there. There's 14 different ones to collect. And there's a chance for, for gold ones. Let's see. Does it say anything? It doesn't say nothing about the gold ones. But we're going to check it out. Here we go. Gold ones are hard to get. Let's get our sticker. All right. So what we got for our first bunny rabbit for Easter? We got an Amy. Amy bunny rabbit. There's the sticker. Right? And there's the bunny rabbit. <laughs> Look, got a little tail on the back, too. Yeah? The girls like these. And and they're sturdy. They're, I don't know what they're made of, but it's like a soft outside, but, you know, it, the inside is like a plastic or something. All right. Okay, maybe we'll get the gold out of this one. Let's see. We got a Reuben this time. Reuben. He's not gold, though. What are you going to do? Gold ones are tough. It is Reuben. There he is. With the ears. All right. So hopefully, the bunny rabbit will be visiting me and, and giving me stuff. So we'll see. <laughs> all right. And that's about all we got today. So I don't want to keep you. Oh, 43 minutes. I did keep you kind of long. All right, so we're going to close. So, prizes. So, if you uh, subscribe or a subscriber and you comment on this video on Tuesday, we're going to give you a uh, chance for these prizes. First out of the box is going to be a 2022 Panini Contender football pack. Second out of the box. I found this in a box. Topps Chrome Rookie Autograph of Matt Khalil. He was a pretty good lineman. This is from, what, 2012. Third out of the box, we got a Chronicle Gridiron King Tua rookie. And fourth out of the box, this is nice, the playoff Chronicle Playoff Momentum C.D. Lamb rookie. So all you got to do is be a subscriber and comment on this video and next video. You got a chance for those prizes. 
I'm, I got a note here. I keep switching because I keep putting stuff up. Brian Basketball, he's on my feature channels. I think he's opening a, a, an envelope I sent him tonight on his live. I think he's at 9 o'clock tonight. I got to try and make sure I don't forget because I'm actually not going no place tonight. I'm resting up for Easter. So I have to, usually Saturdays I'm out, but I have to check. So if anybody's around, check out Brian's Saturday night video, 9 o'clock tonight, I think. I think he's part of that spine tick uh, train. So, which I, I don't go on because I'm usually not around Saturday, but because it's the holiday, I'm going to be around a little bit. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody, for tuning in. Everybody, have a happy Easter. Have a good time tomorrow. It's going to be fun. Also, don't forget, collect what you like because if it goes up or down, you still like it. And try not to buy a box for more than 120 because what we're getting out of stuff ain't been worth it lately and you might get points. <laughs> so, all right, everybody. Have a happy Easter. Take care now.